got the Christensen 90s. Christensen Brothers heading off to Salt Lake City. Yeah, buddy. Let's go. Let's, Let's go. go. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> you think Porter's going to make it on time? Of course. <laughs> He told me, he's like, save me a seat, I want an aisle seat. He's going to be sweating, dashing to the plane. We haven't started boarding? No. God, I'm always early. <laughs> What's up? Oh, that was close. It took me 45 minutes to get here from somewhere. What's up, Neb Doggy? Where you go, man? You got a mustache going? A handlebar, yes. Do you need water, coffee, or anything? God, we got so much time. Get a little breakfast burrito. You guys want one? Water's a little hyper this morning. <laughs> Get Wait, ready to pack. Waiting for keys to the trailer so we can start loading all that stuff. Yeah, so we come down here, we load it all up, we drive it to our hotel, unload it all at the hotel, go pick up the booth, load it, drive it down to Salt Lake, unload it. Our booth's big enough now that it only fit, we only fit half of it in the trailer at a time. So we have to go back to Ogden, load the other half of the booth, back to Salt Lake, unload it. Well, that's pretty much a day. I don't know, it took us all day to merchandise, it took us to like six. Yeah, we were there for a long day. To get all the merchandise up, so. You know, most of us were up there three nights. He was up there eight nights with Dave. Eight nights. That was a long time. Now that show's such a grind for him, I feel bad. Is he gonna give you guys something nice since you guys were there the whole damn time? I'm gonna have to work him over, yeah. Maybe a paid vacation, somewhere nice. <laughs> so how do you think the 2019 Hub Expo went overall? I think the expo went good. It's crazy how big it's got so fast. I remember going to that show back in 2006, 7, 8. It wasn't even close to what it is now. It's a fantastic show. Better than years before? They're all different in their own right. First couple years was exciting because no one knew who we were and so it was like describing the brand, the vision was fun. And over the years we've seen it grow from people asking what is this, tell me why I need it or how it works, to now people walking up going, Man, I can't believe I still don't have a membership. Just sign me up right now. Essentially, they sometimes show us how the product works and why they want it and why they're going to use it, which is like mind blowing to me from where we were trying to explain and educate. So well, it's, it's funny. I was telling, I was telling some of the guys that the fact that I'm from Missouri, uh -huh. it's impossible to hunt out west because yeah. it's too hard. Yeah, and that's what I thought. You could never do it. And you guys make it so, I mean, literally, it's, it's what, what did somebody say? It's like Zillow no. for Western hunting. Yeah. Because I could put in my profile, I can say I'm going to go to Colorado, meet my buddies, and we don't want to be a big bowl. Sure. We want to shoot something. Yeah, we absolutely. want to get a tag. Click, click, click. It tells me everything I need to know. Oh, absolutely. It's pretty yeah. cool stuff. You guys, good. you guys got it down. I love oh, it. Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate it. Very well, good. I appreciate you too, so. Thanks. This Randy Over, he was running around our booth quite a bit this year. Newberg? Yeah. yeah, he's, <laughs> Newberg's, he's one of a kind. That guy, I mean, he knows the industry, I would say better than anyone. Guy's really good at what he does. He was even giving us some product demos. He was. Where do you live, Mark? We're here in Utah. Okay, you gotta go to New Mexico. New Mexico? Yeah, come on. Oh, we're gonna get you a tag. What's it gonna take to get you in a tag here? <laughs> well, you, he's the number one user of our site. So he knows our product probably better than a lot of us do. You know, we're focused on some business decisions and business things. He literally sits on there for hours a night. Every time we try to go somewhere, we're running somewhere we have to talk to. We were running, talking to, I don't know, Getty earlier, talking to Vortex. Just like, you bump into people all over the place. So it's a fun show. You see a lot of people. Terrible watching how many people come up and they want to like meet Brady or Trailer, the guys in our films. It's, it's pretty cool. How, how many autographs you signed this weekend? Oh, definitely, definitely signed a handful of autographs and quite a few pictures with people. Which is always always fun. I'm just an average person, so it still still feels odd to me that people want my autograph and want to take a picture with me. Outdoor Channel, outdoor they're hunting celebrities. They're not on Outdoor Channel anymore. It's YouTube. It's where people can engage with them a lot. So it makes a ton of sense. It's still foreign, but it's, it makes a lot of sense. Okay, do you, how, did you have cherries? <laughs> it's okay. Water will do. I appreciate I it though. <laughs> One of these nights, I'm gonna get a Shirley Temple. Uh, Campos and his Shirley Temples. Oh god. Campos and the Surly Temple. 
the man, did you see how sad he was at the one place because they didn't have Shirley Temples? And at, if you remember at the Italian restaurant, the one gets delivered and it does not look like a Shirley Temple. He's too nice to send it back though. Send it back, send it back, send it back. And then it comes, and it's a good one, and his eyes light up. And then remember we told, remember we told him it was his birthday. That's why he was getting Shirley Temple. And then they brought him birthday ice cream. Oh my God! Happy birthday to you. So the next thing you know, I got ice cream and cake, and people are singing to me, and I have a nice Shirley Temple with three cherries. It was very impressive. These guys. Happy birthday! Oh, yes! Yes! Get it! So when you when you look at a Shirley Temple, like ingredients wise, what like what's like? Okay, this is gonna be a good Shirley Temple. Uh, it, need, it needs to have like the grenadine, um, just regular Sprite. It needs to have some cherries in there, at least one cherry. Do you ever make your own Shirley Temples? No, I'm not addicted to them at all. That's just like what I drink when I want to have something other than water, and if they don't have lemonade. So lemonade or Shirley Temple, they have both, and they're both like known for it. What are you, what are you gonna go for? <laughs> Depends on lemonade. If it's just regular lemonade, it's gonna be Shirley Temple for sure. If it's uh, like a blackberry lemonade or mango lemonade or strawberry, whatever lemonade, then I'll go for the lemonade. I try not to drink soda, but again, when I'm out with the with the guys, I want to have something tasty. <laughs>